Yo, what up guys? Leon Mugi here, and I'm back with another part of What If Izuku Was Trained By Terry Bogard. This is part 8. In the last part, the USJ attack began with both Izuku and Ojiro fighting against the right-hand man of Geese Howard, Billy Khan, as they had kind of the upper hand on him in the first half. However, the second half, he started ho he stopped holding back with taking out Ojiro instantly and then beating Izuku to near to near unconsciousness. However, Izuku wouldn't stop as he continued to hit Billy with tons of barrages of his special moves. Now, with soon Billy retreating, telling Geese about the disciples of Terry and Andy Bogard with soon Geese taking an interest within Izuku with soon Terry showing up to take down the Nomu like it was nothing with then running away to make sure that he didn't get caught of course with that the USJ attack comes to an end so with that said let's get into this shall we guys as everyone in class 1A is heading back home Izuku and Ojiro are getting well healed by recovery girl however their wounds aren't healing as fast as they normally should have with making even recovery girl tired and she's completely stumped about this wondering huh this is surprising why aren't your wounds healing with soon he's saying oh man it's possibly that because those were key attacks but soon Odro saying most likely Izuku Key attacks take longer to heal than normal wounds, even from quirks. With Recovery Girl getting frustrated, saying, What are the two of you whispering about? With soon Izuku and Ojiro saying, Nothing, nothing at all. With Izuku getting back his gym uniform on, as while well, he's aching a little bit in pain, alongside Ojiro getting on his school uniform, with soon she's saying, You two are in no condition to walk. Saying, hey, we've been through worse training, worse pain than this, Miss Recovery Girl. No disrespect. But soon Ojiro saying, it's just going to take time for us to heal up. That's just going to be it. Trust, trust us, we'll be fine once we leave. But soon the two teenage boys saying, with Recovery Girl getting somewhat annoyed, saying, you boys get back here, I need to. With then the door, the door closing on them. With her saying, oh, what, 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 what did those boys fight against? Make that my quirk was, make it harder for my quirk to heal them. This is ridiculous. With soon, both Izuku and Ojiro head to Rock's apartment. As the two getting, well, patched up by both Andy and Blue Mary. With, with Andy repair basically patching up Ojiro and Blue Mary patching up Izuku with with tons with both of them having tons of br tons of bandages around their body and their arms too and their head as well with my pacing back and forth saying I can't believe it the both of you got your butts kicked by Billy Khan of all people what the heck did you two of you slack up on your training with soon he Izuku and Ojiro saying, no Bix is my, no Lady Mai, with saying, are you sure? Because I would, because seriously, losing to Billy Khan of all people, would soon Izuku saying, we didn't lose, trust me, we just, he just caught us off guard, that's all. Tell her Ojiro, with Ojiro getting a little bit nervous, as he hates having to explain himself to Mai, of course, where Izuku is afraid of Mai. Ojiro is downright terrified of the woman since she is basically somewhat like his master after all. So ex so kind of having to explain himself is really, really scary. With Sun saying, he cut us off guard, but we did get the upper hand on him at first, but then he got serious. So we just, uh, we saying, you got your butts kicked and then having to wait on, and then Izuku had to finish him off before he ran off. Is that right? But soon, both boys looking down. But soon, Blue Mary saying, please, my, I think you're being a little too rough on them. 
Billy is pretty strong opponent. I should know. I teamed up with the guy after all. Not only that, let's also bring in the fact that they're still learning and training with Andy and Terry. So give them some time to relax and cut them some slack a little bit. But soon, my saying, all right, fine, fine. I'll relent a, at least a little bit. That's it. But soon, both boys actually sighing with a relief. But soon, my pointing her fan both at Izuku and Ojiro saying, but Izuku and Mashiro, the next time you guys want to train, it's going to be hell when it comes to me. But soon, Izuku and Ojiro basically comfort each other saying, yes, yes, we understand. With soon, Andy basically shaking his head with that of sigh and that of disappointment. With soon, Terry and Rock entering as well with, ter with Terry carrying Rock a little bit. With Rock actually being pretty bandaged up with Ojiro and Izuku screaming out, Rock, big bro! As they look at their, their somewhat blonde-like brother, older brother figure, pretty bandaged up, being carried by Terry a little bit. But soon, Terry's saying, don't worry, he's all right. I found him like this on his way here. It looks like he crashed his bike a little bit huh, while trying to head back to his apartment. But soon, he's saying, who did this to you, Rock? But Rock's saying, I'm fine, I'm fine. Seriously, you should see the other guy. I just passed out from the pain a little bit. Thanks to Carrie, Terry carrying me, I'm good to go now. As he stands up with no problems whatsoever. But soon, Andy's saying, so who did do this to you, Rock? With Rock saying, a guy by the name of Mr. Big, of course. But soon, saying, but soon Blue Mary saying, that's one of Geese's enforcers, if I recall. With Rock saying, yeah, he is. As he soon gives a rundown on how he ran into Mr. Big. As he, was, as he soon left from school and riding his bike, he soon was about to get hit by somebody using that of a scream of sticks. As soon, he skid his bike a little bit before seeing the person that, t that attacked him. As it being that of a big do a big bald dude with sunglasses and that of a well fur coat would soon rock realizing that this guy wasn't somebody to mess with with that rock get off his bike to battle him with the fight being somewhat fierce with rock giving out showing all of his skills with tons of punches and kicks to the former crime lord with even Mr. Big were not relenting one bit against the son of Geese Howard. With then e both Rock and Mr. Big at their, lim at their limits. With Sood, they wanted to finish this with one more attack. With that Rock releasing his Raipukin. As he releases a huge wave of earth and wind energy right at Mr. Big. Who was, who was going to be sent flying at rock, at rock, but then knocked back and then into a wall. As Rock gets back on his feet, he soon spits up a little bit of blood and then gets back on his bike but while wobbly a little bit. And on his way to his apartment, he ran into Terry, who bandaged him up a little bit before bringing him back to his place and then putting up his bike. And that's it. But soon, Izuku saying, so you had it pretty rough. So you, so not only that Billy was after us, Mr. Big went after you. But soon, Rock saying, Billy Khan went after you guys? I don't believe, seriously, what the hell is going on here? With Andy and Terry looking at each other, somewhat worried that the crime lord is, pl is trying to take out their disciples. As Geese is still surprised that he would take, he would send somebody to take out his own son. As it, as it seriously pisses him out, pisses him off. With then, soon, Andy saying, Terry, have you gotten into contact with Joe by any chance? But soon, 
<laughs> Terry saying, I've been trying to reach the guy for a while now. He said he was tr he was planning to head here to Japan, but other than that, I haven't contacted him for a while. I don't know what's with the guy. But soon, both Andy and Terry worried about their club worried about their other teammates and close friend, Joe Higashi. Soon, somewhere in Masafu, a, a student of Class 1A, a boy by the name of Mizo Shoji, uh, is contemplating the, well, USJ incident. As he feels somewhat inadequate on what happened. That's the first time, as he felt like he looked, he didn't really do much during the training exercise when it came to combat training. And not only that, when it came to the villains attacking, he felt like he didn't really do much either. All he did was help Ida escape. But other than that, one of his teachers got hurt. And not only that, two of many of his other classmates got hurt too. To him, he feels like he's inadequate, unworthy of being part of class 1A. As it's frustrating him. But soon, he hears screams coming down an alleyway. He was planning on ignoring it, but soon saying, Damn it, a hero's job is to help people. I may not be an official hero, but I'm still a hero student. As he runs to the alleyway where he hears the screams, but soon using his cork duple arms to amplify, the, amplify his hearing. But then he hearing it going through another alleyway. As he sees a couple of kids and a young woman being harassed by a couple of villains. As soon, he, she's saying, just leave them alone. They're just kids. They don't know what they're doing is right and wrong. Would say, oh, really? In that case, why don't, you, why don't we educate them and show them what happens if they do, when they do stuff like this. Would soon one of the kids say, you're just a villain. All you do is hurt people. With saying, that's not right, kid. You don't know how rough it is being out here. Sometimes, just being called a villain doesn't seem right when people are struggling. But soon, one of the villains having that of a monsterfication quirk, transforming his left arm into that of a somewhat of a werewolf arm. As soon, he's saying, now it's time for your punishment. But soon, one of the girls and the kids began flinching their eyes. But soon, Shoji extending his duple arms and punching one of the villains. But then, he, one of them saying, What the? Where the hell did that come from? As it being from Shoji. With soon saying, Sorry, I couldn't let you just hurt a bunch of kids out of nowhere. If you think, instead of, instead of lecturing them or trying to threaten and scare them, you should have started acting more. You should have just to talked to them instead. But soon, one as the girl says, thank you. But saying, just get going. As the girl and the kids soon run off. With one of the villains saying, hey, get back here. As Shoji runs more, more to the villains. With full speed as he tackles one of them. With then saying, ah, you damn brat. Get off me. As one of them having that of a super strength quirk tosses Shoji through to a wall, creating a small crater as a couple of blood coming out of the, t of the tall teen's mouth. But soon he, he begins feeling that pain saying, damn it, what was I thinking? I should have just stayed out of it. I'm not a hero yet. I would soon when I'm saying, playing the hero kid? Just be with one of saying, hey, he's a UA student. So of course he thinks he can play the hero type. With the one that he punched saying, let me carve up this kid. It'll set an example for a bunch of UA students thinking that they can play hero when they barely even got out of school. But soon, she's saying, damn it. I guess this is it for me. But then one guy saying, hey, knock it off. He's just a kid. And I guess that's what I expect from a bunch of bastard ass villains. With soon one saying, huh? Who the hell are you? 
It's bad enough we have more of a people to ignore us. Would soon sing. I'm a person that fights for justice, that's what. A member of one of the greatest KOF teams of all time. Would soon sing KOF. I feel like I've heard that name before. Saying, as he remembers, Izuku and Ojiro about their masters being KOF fighters. Would soon, he said, as the guy says, My name is Joe Higashi, India's long running Muay Thai champion and member of Team Fatal Fury. So, the next, and that means I'm a person that can't just sit by and watch injustice happen before me. Would soon eat. One of the villains saying, stop. So you're some kind of hero for fun? So that makes you a vigilante. So that makes you free pickings. As he soon fully transforms into that of a wolf. And then rushes right at Joe. With soon Shoji saying, look behind, look out. With then, without even, with just a mere, with soon in one instant, the villain was sent flying into the wall knocked out from 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 impact with two with the two villains saying what the what happened how the hell did that happen would soon joe would soon uh shoji saying what the he how was a kick he kicked them so fast that nobody could see it but i did after that joe removed his strap his track jacket as it shows his abs and muscles with then getting into his fighting stance. With then, the one with the superhuman strength quirk saying, You're dead! As he rushes right at Joe. With then, Joe basically basically dodge rolling. So basically low, low, sweeps the low sweeps the villain and then screams out, Rising upper! As then, a tornado begins to form in front from his uppercut as sending the villain flying before Joe jumps high into the air and then kneeing the villain square in the face, knocking him out cold. With then Joe landing and also catching the villain while tossing him to the ground. With the other villain saying, Ugh, damn it, I'm not gonna risk this. Screw this bullshit. As he ran, soon Shoji used one of his duple arms to create some hands to trip up the other villain, saying, what the, you damn brat? Saying, You've, you were planning on threatening a bunch of kids and a, and a young, and a girl my age. Like hell, I'll let you go. With suit saying, damn brats, trying to play? As he was soon cut off with a foot on his back, as it being from Joe saying, nice word, kid. You got the true, her true act of a hero. Just because you don't have a hero license doesn't mean you should just sit back and watch injustice happen. That's what that's what me and my friends believe in. Soon, Shoji saying, uh, "Really?" But then the vil soon the cup the kids and the and the and the young girl basically called the police and the heroes to capture the villains. And soon, getting their statements from the kids and her, and also from Shoji and Joe. With soon the police and the heroes giving Joe and Shoji that of awarding, but they also appreciate them helping out as well. With soon taking the villains up, taking the villains away, and the and soon everyone else leaving, Shoji planning on heading back home as well. But then Joe saying, "Hey, what's your name, kid?" Saying, "Uh, Shoji, Mizo Shoji," as saying, "Joe Higashi." But I guess you already knew that since I already said my name multiple times. With then Shoji saying, yeah, it, thanks for your help again. I appreciate it a lot. Saying, ah, no problems. But you seriously got determination and spirit. Not only that, somebody like you, you should really do some martial arts training. And it should help you out a little bit. With then uh, Shoji saying, well, I tried, but... Personally, my size alone is kind of intimidating. I hope that I hope that would help out when it comes to villains. Not only that, my quirk really isn't made for combat, to be honest. But soon, Joe saying, 
Nonsense. You don't always have to rely on your quirk to do your job. I mean, look at me. I'm completely quirkless, and I can fight back against the toughest of people with quirks. But soon, Shoji was taken back saying, wait, hold up. You're quirkless? But those techniques, that skill, I thought for sure you had some kind of wind manipulation quirk that helped you to move so fast, saying, <laughs> nah, none of that. It's just years of dedicated Muay Thai training. Plus, it also doesn't help that I have some kind of mysterious ability to manipulate Ki. So it allows me to do crazy stuff like that, like my iconic rising upper with soon. Joe shows a demonstration of his rising upper uppercut as a small tornado soon appears in front of Shoji and Joe. But Shoji actually taken back by this and was surprised. But soon, Joe saying, well, I hope this was a good motivation for you to get stronger and, prove and become a better hero. Can't always rely on just trying to help out people. Sometimes you gotta rely on your fists and your kicks to do the job done. With soon putting back on his track jacket and then his bag and heading to and heading to Rock's place. With soon Mizo saying, uh, Mr. Higashi, please, I want you, I want you to train me. As he bows, with soon Joe saying, What? You want me to train you, kid? Saying, yes, please, please train me. I beg of you. I want to become as strong as you. Teach me Muay Thai by any chance. But soon, Joe was actually taken back by this. As he's only had one person that he wanted to train, his other disciple, Kuan, a, young, a girl who also wanted to train, who wanted to know Joe's secrets as a Muay Thai champion. As Joe didn't mind, as soon he smiles saying, all right kid, as long as I stay here in Japan, I'll train you all I know. But let's make this clear. I'm not gonna make my training easy. If you wanna reach to my level, you better be training almost to near death. Cause I didn't get this strong just by, just only for a couple of weeks. It's soon Shoji saying, I understand. And I'm willing to do whatever it takes to reach this level, to reach your level. Higashi sensei, but soon, Joe just sighing saying, <laughs> you can call me sensei, but just call me Joe sensei instead. I don't mind. After hearing this, Shoji saying, yes, Joe sensei. With soon, another member of class 1A is now being trained by the, by the last member of Team Fatal Fury. And that's it. Thank you guys for watching. Hope you enjoyed the video. Please tell me what you guys think in the cons below. I'd love to read them. And also please like and subscribe, which also helps out this channel a lot. I would also appreciate that as well. And please and hit that bell notification to keep up to date when I upload videos, because mostly YouTube doesn't like to remind people when I upload. And if you feel like it, check out my Discord and my gaming channel. Links to be in the description below if you feel like it. So with all that said, this is Leon Mookie, signing out. Later, guys. Hi, everyone. This is White Fox. If you liked Leon's video, click the video on the left to see the most recent one. And if you want to see more of this, click the subscribe button and notification bell and check out his playlist. If you still haven't subscribed, do so in the center. With that said, I hope to see you again on my love's channel. Bye!